Okay, so this is every speedrun trick for Mob of the Dead. Uh, this is going to be focusing more on the solo side of stuff. If you don't know, you can solo speedrun Mob of the Dead. The world record actually just got beat like last week, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's a pretty cool run. I recommend you go check it out. Uh, anyways, the first trick is going to be how to spot the key to see if it's in the cafeteria or not. And all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, go up to this little window in the door. And if you see the key, uh, it's going to be pretty obvious if you see it. You're going to see the key with like the electricity around it. Uh, then you're all good, but if not, you're going to have to restart. So the next trick is also in the spawn room. Uh, this time it's going to be in like the box part of the room. And basically what you want to do is um, if you strafe after you hit this afterlife, you have like a second of leeway after you hit the afterlife uh, outside of the door frame. Basically, it'll put you uh, in the front of the spawn room. So what you want to do is you want to open up the door in the box part of the spawn room. And then hit the afterlife straight out the doorway, and then it'll put you on the other side of the room, and then you can go uh, turn on whatever you need to. Next one is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just a way to save time opening up the laundry room. Um, instead of going all the way up and uh, back over, uh, you can just go underneath and shock this. And yeah, this one's pretty easy. Most people know this one. So basically, the next one is a way to save time going into afterlife. So what you want to do is when you're down in the laundry room, you're going to want to throw your nade over this gate, open up the uh, door with the warden's key, then grab the nade and down yourself. And then also what you can do is you can go back up here and get the double points while you're in afterlife. And then you can come back down, turn on the laundry machine, and then uh, revive yourself. So the next one is another nade bounce that'll be getting to afterlife faster. So what you're going to do is when you're running down the spiral staircase, uh, you're going to want to throw your nade against the wall, uh, unlock the numbers, and then grab the nade and down yourself. And basically what it does is it puts you at the top, and then you can see all the numbers as you go down, and then you can revive yourself right after. So the next one is a skull skip to get the free blunder gat. So basically, instead of having to go all the way to the rooftop, uh, you can just aim in this corner and then run and jump, and then, yeah, you'll get the skull. This next one is another skull skip for the free blunder gat. So basically, instead of having to come down here next to Jug and throwing it up at the light post, you can just ride the gondola and throw it at the light post, and you'll get the skull. And this saves, like, 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so this last trick is probably the hardest. This is, again, another skull skip. But basically, instead of having to go down next to the box spawn, uh, you can just stand on the stairs, and you can do this, like, weird run and jump, but it's kind of awkward the way you have to time your run and jump. Uh, and you can throw it at the pillar, and you'll get the skull. And it's not really hard. It's just kind of awkward to get the hang of. But once you get the hang of it, uh, this will also save you, like, 10 to 15 seconds. And yeah, that was pretty much every trick for Mob of the Dead. Um, I plan on making a video for every zombies map that has like cool tricks or movement in it. And I'm going to upload it every Friday. So be on the lookout for that if y'all like these types of videos. And I hope y'all enjoy. And I know Greg FPS made a video on this like five years ago. But uh, I just wanted to make a new one because I know some of the uh, tricks that were in here were in his video too. But there are some new ones in here so... Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video.